In this video, we're going to create another database. The name of this one is called Campus Housing. And in it, we're going to create two tables. It'll be a little bit more sophisticated than the one we've just previously shown you in the other video. You'll notice that you should be familiar with this screen now because we're over here in the right-hand corner. We have Blank Database, and we're going to click on this folder and go to our folder called Access. You'll notice I typed in the name of the database. We're in the folder called Access, and the name of the database is called Campus Housing. I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to click the word Create, and we've just now created uh, our uh, database. And what we need to do here is click on the Design View, and we're going to give our first name to our first table. The name of our first table is called Owner. Simply click on OK. And what we're going to do here in the first field is we're going to type in several, in the first area, we're going to type in several fields in this table. You'll notice we've typed in our, our three fields. In this one, we do have a primary key. Like I said, this one's a little bit more sophisticated than the previous one. Up here in the upper left-hand corner, let's click on Save. So I've just saved our, our table. Let's click on the Design View, and I'm going to make these a little bit larger so that we can type in our information. Now, over here for Owner's Code, I'm going to type in the information that's presented in our syllabus. You'll notice what I've done here is I've typed in um, all three fields and all three names. When we've completed that, simply click on Save. And then what we have to do is create our second table.